Okay, so here's a simple little problem where we're trying to calculate the moment of a force about a point. So here we're given a, a, a structure and we want to know what is the moment produced by um, the force of 100 newtons at the angle shown about point O. So let's start off by uh, modeling this with something a little bit simpler. So here I've drawn a line showing, two lines showing the center lines of our structure to simplify it. And we have point O at one end. Let's give these other two points names. We'll call that one A and we'll call that one B. And then we can take our force. We can take our, our 100 newtons, which is at an angle, and we can resolve it into a vertical component and a horizontal component. So Fy is equal to three-fifths, because this is a three, four, five triangle, so three-fifths of F, which is equal to 60 newtons, and Fx will equal um, four-fifths of F, which is 80 newtons. So we can go ahead and apply those two here. We can apply 60 newtons down at point B, and 80 newtons to the right. Now, to find the moment of a force about a point, we use this in two dimensions. We can say the moment about a of a force about a point is equal to the force times the perpendicular distance between the point and the line of action. The problem here is that the perpendicular distance is this distance right here. This is d perpendicular. And the perpendicular distance is not very easy to find from geometry, because we have to project things back. And so what we can do is we can break this down into, um, into the x components and the y components to solve. So the moment about point O, it's very important to have a positive sign convention. And with the right hand rule system, counterclockwise is positive. So it's very important to think of this sense of positive as being counterclockwise. We end up getting F Y in the X direction minus F X in the Y direction. And I'll talk a little bit about those signs and uh, an easier way to look at it. So let's go ahead and look at it. Um, let's take the F Y force which is 60 newtons and let's ignore the sign this Let's, for now, let's ignore the negative sign here and the implied positive sign there, and let's figure it out using the sign convention. So let's go ahead and just write the, the values of fx and fy with their x's. So fy is 60 newtons working through a distance of 5 meters, and then we have fx is 80 newtons working through a distance of 2 meters. Now to get the pro proper signs, you can see that Fy here is actually pointing down um, and Fx is pointing to the right. But to get the signs, what we need to do is just look at the sense of which way they're spinning. So if we take Fy, 60 newtons, and we look at how it's tending, it's tending around point O this way. Okay which would be a negative sense. So the tendency is that direction, so it's negative. And fx is tending about point O this way as well, so that's also a negative. Okay, So we can go ahead and say that this gets a negative and this gets a negative because their tendency about point O is both clockwise, counter to our sign convention. The other way to look at it, if we use the equation, if I plug it in up here, I can say that Fy is a negative number, so minus 60 newtons. X from O to, to A is a positive 5. And then Fx is going in the positive direction, 80 newtons, and 2 is in the positive Y directions. So you see how we get the negative sign if we, if we respect the directions of the 60 and the 80 newtons, or we can get the signs directly from looking at the scalars and applying the sense. So when I do the math, I get um, minus 300 newton meters, minus 160 newton meters, 
and the answer is equal to minus 460 newton meters. The significance of the negative sign again is relative to the sign convention. What might be clearer is to state your answer as the moment about point O is equal to 460 newton meters in that direction. What's also interesting here is we can actually determine this perpendicular distance from this equation up here by solving for perpendicular distance. So let's go ahead and do that just at the end here. If MO is equal to the force times the perpendicular distance, then the perpendicular distance is equal to MO divided by the force, which is equal to 460 newton meters divided by 100 newtons, and that gives us 4.6 meters. So this distance right up here would be 4.6 meters.